And back here at home domestically, Tuesday, Virginians head to the polls for their governor's race that has been touted as a preview to the 2018 midterms and one of the nation's nastiest contests in history, even considering how nasty politics have gotten. Heading into this final weekend, latest polling, Democrat Lieutenant Governor Ralph Northam and Republican Ed Gillespie in essentially a dead heat. We've seen the polls go back and forth by a couple of points. General conventional wisdom, Ed Gillespie, may have a little bit of momentum here, but there's some key job numbers in parts of the state that normally vote Democratic that could shift some votes right. To talk about it, Richmond, Virginia radio host Jeff Katz, 1140 WRVA on your AM dial or on any Internet-enabled device you might own. And, Jeff, we want to clear up for our viewers, it doesn't look like Richmond behind you. You're in Boston for the weekend. <laughs> Great town, uh, but you are actually a Richmond radio host, so if anyone has any questions, uh, we cleared it up. Uh, thoughts now, heading in, does Gillespie have a chance? He came so close in the Senate race. Yeah, I think Ed Gillespie absolutely has the momentum at this point. And, and it's sort of funny because for the last four or five months, quite frankly, the uh, the joke uh, everywhere in Virginia when it came to the governor's race is, is it over yet? Because neither Gillespie nor Northam is a particularly hey, Jeff, exciting or dynamic person. As we watch uh, Air Force One take off uh, from Honolulu headed towards Tokyo, explain to us what, what role President Trump has played in this, both from the Democrat and the Republican side, because... The sitting Republican president hasn't been out there stumping for the Republican candidate for governor in a state that's a stone's throw from the White House. Yeah, well, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, Ed Gillespie, I don't think, has been particularly interested in having President Trump come in and stump for him. The uh, the extent of the president's involvement has been a couple of tweets here or there saying that Ed Gillespie's his guy and, uh, and everybody in Virginia ought to vote for him. Part of the problem is that uh, the president uh, is not particularly popular in large swaths of Virginia. And the Democrats have tried everything to tie Ed Gillespie to President Trump. Ed Gillespie's a pretty moderate, uh, centrist sort of a uh, Republican. Uh, he, he's not somebody who has necessarily been uh, embraced by uh, the Trump nation, if you will. Uh, in fact, the folks that uh, were the strongest Donald Trump supporters usually have referred to Ed Gillespie as establishment ed, and the Democrats have seized on that. Uh, the Democrats have tried to paint Gillespie as being a pawn of President Trump. It's kind of lost uh, any sort of so, effectiveness because so everybody knows that it's simply not the case. Clinton wins Virginia by 5.4 votes. It was one of the very few swing states she won. What is Gillespie doing to try to pull that, that, that back? Why is it that he feels that in a state that Hillary Clinton won handily. Why does he suddenly have a chance? What's changed? What's different about his message that's working? Well, Ed Gillespie's message has been pretty consistent all along in that he views the uh, the Commonwealth as a, as a collection of... Uh, uh, slightly different areas, but all with a common economic concern, and that's creating jobs and making sure the business is attracted. Uh, there's been some talk about some of the Confederate monuments in Virginia. That's become uh, a big flashpoint for many. There was the terrible situation out in Charlottesville that, again, attracted a lot of attention. Uh, the Ralph Northam campaign over the last couple of weeks has really shown uh, a great deal of desperation. Part of it grew out of the uh, the Democrats meeting in Las Vegas where the buzz was, oh, my gosh, we can't believe this, but Northam is going to lose this race for us. And uh, throughout the last couple of weeks, the, the uh, campaign has taken on some pretty nasty tones. Ralph Northam just earlier this week had a uh, television commercial launched on his behalf that showed a pickup truck with an Ed Gillespie sticker and the stars and bars on it chasing down yeah small children. And I got to tell you, listen, I grew up in Philadelphia and I cut my teeth on my first political campaign when I was 12 years old. I believe that politics is always a full contact sport, but that was the most disgusting, vile television commercial yeah, we, I have ever seen. We, we, and, we heard, and I've we heard, heard from we heard many... Even from your, we heard even from your former governor uh, of, of sort of perhaps a backlash, even, even perhaps Trump yes. voters who weren't necessarily really all that excited about this race. It's, it's sort of a double off your race in terms of an odd year election saying, look, if, if that's who they're going to cast me as, then I'm going to come out and vote and, and prove that I'm not. Um, interesting headline in Politico as it relates to this race. Democrats still toxic 
in rural America. It seems as though Northam is trying to bridge this gap, and he's, he is at least not following the strict identity politics playbook uh, that the Democrats have used in 2016. Has that been working, or is he trying to have a, a foot essentially on both sides of the rural urban divide in Virginia that's so, per so prominent, but at the same time kind of tough to have a foot in both uh, camps? I think that what's happened with the Northam campaign over the last couple of weeks is that they have internal polling that shows them doing uh, very, very poorly in, in large areas. And so they have brought out uh, sort of the tired old identity politics card. Uh, they've tried to attract as many people to uh, campaign for Ralph Northam that are people of color as possible. Uh, you almost had to feel sorry for Ralph Northam when former President Obama came to campaign for him in Richmond. Uh, whether you agree with the former president on issues or not, he's a great campaigner. He's energetic. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, he inspires people. And Ralph Northam is just the opposite. And, and it really, frankly, it made Northam look even even less engaged than he was before that event. Yeah, it's, it's often been said that uh, President Obama was a great campaigner for himself, was not as successful uh, in getting people right. elected down ballot, perhaps because of the issue uh, you just brought up. Uh, the election uh, is Tuesday. Jeff, I know you're going to be talking about it. Uh, we'll be checking out uh, your show as well, and appreciate your analysis. Thank you. Great having you. Enjoy Absolutely. Boston. Absolutely. Thanks for having me.